Hello everyone and welcome on this tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to install CentOS 7 on VMware. And behind the scene, I already downloaded CentOS 7. So let's begin. Our first step is create a new virtual machine. We click on this button. We choose a typical configuration. Click on next. We browse our path where we store our CentOS. Click on next button. We give a full name. Username I'm gonna use admin. Password I'm gonna use password. Then click next. For this virtual machine, I'm gonna name it CentOS 64 bits demo. Then I store it to this location. Click on next button. Leave it as default. From this page, we almost done, but I gonna review some hardware setting. I gonna use eight gigs on this demo one. Eight gigs. Then I gonna use one processor with four cores. I gonna enable virtualize here. For network, it's okay. USB, okay. Printer, I don't need printer, so I can remove it. So I guess I'm good with that. So we are good to go. Then click finish and it will start the process of installation. I'm gonna pause the video and let the installation process do its job. I will be back when it's almost done. See you. Welcome back. After installation was done, we've got this screen. And voila. The installation was done, but it's not finished. We have to do some trick. We are on the welcome page. We're gonna use English language. Click on next button. But in my case, I use Belgian keyboard. So I'm gonna add the Belgian keyboard. At this point, you are not done yet. As you can see on the top, the wired is turned off. So for fix this, you have to go on network setting, select wired, click on this button, go into identity and enable connect automatically. Apply it. Then you can turn it on. Because when you're gonna start your VMware and select CentOS 64 bits demo, start it, what will happen with Putty, you won't be able to connect to this server because the network is turned off. Now it's turned on. You can close this. Some of you doesn't like to use Genome, so we can disable it. For that we go in application and open our terminal. 
we log into our roads so the password is password then we're gonna run level 3 for that we type system ctl set default multi user dot target if you wish to bring it back system ctl set default to graphical target so when this is done you just reboot your machine And there we go. Now we are logged into our SSH. Now we can connect our putty on this one. my password is password and I'm ready to go logging we accept and save and voila